Hello, welcome to another custom figure video. Well, actually, today is not a custom figure at all. It is my 13th Doctor console. Um, I did this because I had a spare 10th Doctor console, and I couldn't think of much else to do with it other than a War Doctor console, which I just thought was not boring, but just not not interesting enough, not different enough to do. So I decided to do um, this one. It's nowhere near accurate. It does still look like the 10th Doctor's console, but um, I have made it look similar, I hope, enough to um, the 13th Doctor's. And of course here I've just put in the, um, for the custom 13th Doctor figure that I made with her jacket off. So if we look into um, bits and bobs that I've done to the console, so, like I said, most of this is just a 10th Doctor console, as you can see. Um, and what I've done is I've, um, I've uh, done a orange Sharpie underneath each of the clear panels to make it appear like the console is um, glowing orange, like hers is. Which involved taking out the green piece of plastic that usually sits underneath this console. And um, and then gluing each one of these panels in underneath. It took a long time. I had to take apart the entire thing to um, to be able to do that. And um, this panel doesn't open up anymore. That's just glued in place. And then mostly what I did then was um, I took off this top ring here so I could remove the uh, normal column that goes up and out of it and um, started to replace all the um, all the uh, mechanics that make the original rotor go up and down. I did originally try my best to see if I could get this crystal to go up and down like it's meant to but it wasn't quite working so instead it got glued into place. Um, so what I did was I, I cut, if, you, if I bring us closer you can see this is actually is the original ring that sits around um, one of the sections of the original rotor and I've sewn gaps in to create this sort of um, idea of um, the up it's got a bit dusty the, the upper sections of the 13th Doctor console and then I've added milliput in between here and down here to sort of make it feel like it goes up and round a bit like her one so um, that's what I did to modify this the rotor, as you can see here, is actually a water bottle that then fitted perfectly into that gap there. And, um, and then I've just glue gunned strips of glue gun glue all the way up and down to give it this sort of crystallized effect. And then, as you can see here, that's just glue gun glue all the way over just to, um, like I said, give it that, that crystal effect. And what it also does is it makes it clear for um, the electronics, which I'll show you later. But in order to make the TARDIS seem a lot more like the 13th Doctors, because like I said, it's not strictly accurate, was adding in a load of random bits and bobs, bits of junk, which I used um, as leftover pieces from the um, Junkyard TARDIS, because I had to spare one of those as well. So of course we've got the shower head, which has just been uh, super glued onto here. Um, one of these little pieces, uh, this little um, microphone thing up here. The mirror, which I've painted silver. Um, and this little screen here. And there's these little, um, this, this one here, I definitely wanted to put that one on there. That seems a lot like her um, stethoscope that she looks through in some of the stories. And then, of course, it was important to create a few of the extra little bits that come up here, like her um, uh, hourglass, which is two beads uh, screwed together and then super glued onto a um, twisty stick that you get with the, to keep the figures in place you probably recognise. And of course I had to create her lever, which you can see is a piece of card over the top of um, a piece of plastic that's just wrapped around and then another piece of card around for the silver handle 
and that just lifts up and down. So she actually has something to move because otherwise nothing else on the console actually moves. As, as you can see, the original console was designed to be in the playset. So I had to work out a way in order to um, lift all the figures up because otherwise um, she's going to be jumping, jumping to a console in order to use it. So I needed a way to sort of have her at that sort of height. So what I did was I got a um, the, the lid from a sweet box at Christmas, uh, the, one of the uh, celebrations or heroes or something, and cut a giant hole in it. So then this can sit in there like that. I also had to cut um, these bits and bobs a bit shorter. Um, so then this can sit here, and then I just at the moment I'm just using um, plastic shot glasses just to just to keep it at the right height. So then when I bring thirteen in, um, she does stand at the correct height for um, this console, and I think that looks quite nice. So like I said before, I did try to keep the electronics so this went up and down, but in the end it was better just to glue it in place. But I was able to keep the light effects. Unfortunately, this console that I had is one of the um, ones that's green LEDs rather than clear LEDs. And I don't have the soldering skills to change those LEDs into orange. So when it lights up, it does light up green. But other than that, it is quite nice to be able to press the button still and... So, that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, then there's many more custom figure videos on my channel, as well as other TARDISes that I've built, um, and soon I'll be doing a retrospective look back at Series 2 of Paradell, so check out my channel for that, uh, thank you again for watching, and goodbye.